Mrs. Arte will be speaking on music and mind. Hili yeshchana Kannada baradila. How many of you cannot understand Kannada? Okay, okay. Uh, oh, fine. I was. Hili vargu Kannada tum kundi dutala. So I'm more at home with Kannada anyway. No problem. I'll uh, use both. I'll be um, using both English and uh, Kannada. Uh, this is a very interesting subject. Perhaps we need to um, explore a lot into this subject, music and the mind. I don't know how well I qualify to be speaking about this subject because uh, it's a scientist who is also a musician who can really do justice to this subject. Because uh, when we speak about the mind, there are so many unexplored layers of the mind and um, I think we have not really ventured much into that uh, area, into that domain. But of course, I was just thinking of how I can relate uh, music to mind with the, with the, in the context of uh, Bharatiya Vidya Shastra, in the context of whatever has been done so far. And I, it was a revelation to me where I saw, uh, of course, a lot of study has been done, but in the aesthetic perspective. There are different perspectives. One is a scientific perspective, which deals more with the physiology, the psychology and uh, the parameters to judge that are very uh, uh, scientific, like the machinery we have today, the medical technology and all that. But uh, a lot of work has been done in the uh, field of how music can uh, influence the mind, the moods of the mind, highlight or enhance or change the, uh, mind, uh, the feelings in the mind. Uh, but it's all in the aspect, aesthetic perspective. And I think we should be very proud that perhaps no other country, no other culture, no, uh, nobody else has uh, probed so much into the domain of music and how mind can, uh, how music can influence the mind other than Indians. Please, next slide. These are some of my general observations which many of us already have. One is, of course, music is a universal language. Shishur Vaiti, Pashur Vaiti, Vaiti, Gana Rasam Bhani. It's a very famous saying. A shishu, a little baby can understand, feel music. I have a one and a half year old uh, toddler. Uh, I, I thoroughly see how he enjoys music. Whenever there's a Hanuman Chalisa playing, he jumps up and dances. When there's a beautiful raga, uh, alapana being done, he just swings about. So even little babies who understand nothing about the technicalities of music, still enjoy music. So this is a very commonly uh, experienced truth that music does have, an, have its uh, impact, influence on the minds of everybody. Shishuhu, Pashuhu. Uh, I had been to Haridwar and uh, once I saw a goshala with hundreds of cows and there was a flute being played throughout the day, day and night almost. I just asked the people who were in charge, do you always play the flute here? And they said, don't, don't you know, uh, music makes cows less aggressive. That's why we always play the flute. So look, this is uh, maybe no science textbook uh, speaks about it. Unfortunately, all our science textbooks have been written by outsiders who uh, perhaps don't really know the context of India very well. But uh, please go back to the previous time. Huh. So, shishuhu, pashuhu, uh, funny means the snake. It is a very well known truth that music does influence us, our moods and um, particularly Indians, we have music for everything. A child is born, we have music. Somebody dies, we have music. We have a marriage, we have music. For everything, we have music. And this has been so well implemented in our movies, our dramas and uh, uh, dance ballets. Like how we see the ragas, uh, each raga is used to enhance a particular mood. Suddenly something happens, a heroine goes into Viraha, immediately there's a nice song there uh, with a very flowy raga. There is sadness in the air immediately. The pathas, the declining type of notes. And even the arohana will be very, it, it will be highlighting the pathas. And if it's a bhajan, if it's a devotional fervor, we see how the jai jai kar, the taal and all those go together with that. And if it's a marching song, a sainika song, a soldier song, uttishthata jagrata manuja uttishthata jagrata. We see this even with little children. 
So at the school level, high school level, college level, and even um, the grown-ups do very well understand how music can change the moods, influence the moods. And uh, I was just, uh, I just heard this one from um, none other than the celebrated SL Bhairappa. He was saying that when he was traveling in the, uh, uh, somewhere around Gwalior, he got to uh, hear about this. Uh, people who don't have a taste for music, uh, they're, we call them as tone deaf people, like they don't have a taste, they don't enjoy music, they're, they're kind of not sensitive to the beauty of music. And such people there are called Aurangzeb Ka Khan. And uh, then he was explaining why the usage came, because it seems Aurangzeb was so dead against any type of fine art. He was a very uh, kind of um, a fanatic uh, uh, Islamist and he had banned music in every manner. And I was very shocked, pained to hear about one more incident that it seems when once he was doing his namaz, uh, a funeral procession was going beside his window where they were all singing Ram Bhajan. He was so angry, he ordered the whole, bury, uh, the whole funeral party to be buried. They were all buried. So this was the height of cruelty he used to display. And that is why people who don't enjoy music are called Aurangzeb Ka Khan. This, this, uh, imp this impl uh, implies that somewhere music makes us uh, entertain softer feelings, become more sensitive. Samvedana shirate in Thiltivala. Paraspara rabage. Anama manushir sahamana rabage on the samvedana feeling. Preeti, vishwasa, affection. All these beautiful human uh, feelings are more associated to people who love fine arts because uh, who is an artist? He is always exploring beauty. Uh, art is nothing but an exploration of beauty. So when you are exploring beauty in sound, it becomes music. And I remember Professor Ramchandra Rao, S.K. Ramchandra Rao, our Bhana Sogisagun Math Hedro. What is the uh, use of what what should be the effect on a dancer and dance bagge helta on ma thil dance agli sangeet agli yaro bahada chana gyu a person who is completely who completely seeps into his art a nutya da prakara dola ke sampoorna magna vadan tha vyakti how he becomes anta a dancer matu kate our body language a tumba soga sang bhattan the so that is what we see adu sangeet ada parinama haage hardo avara Aundu dwani irbodu, maat irbodu, the choice of words irbodu, it becomes tumma susamskrita vagatenta. Hige, art is something which adds beauty to our feelings. So in that uh, idea, in that way also, we see how music adds to uh, culture the mind. Manasige samskara kodu vantha ondu vishya, adrishti indu kuda sangeeta, namma manasini mele tumma prabhava biratenta gotata. Next slide, please. And uh, I must mention about Bharata Muni's Natya Shastra. Perhaps this is one of the greatest uh, texts, which is the foundation, which is the source, Akara, for all types of Indian aesthetics, all fine arts, all systems of uh, literature, knowingly or unknowingly, all, over, all kinds of music, it could be folk or classical or fusion or name any, they all have their uh, roots in Bharata Muni's Rasa Siddhanta. There's a whole chapter dedicated to Rasa, it's called the Rasa Dhyaya. In the Rasa Dhyaya, he gives this wonderful sutra called Vibhavanu Bhava Vyabhichari Sanyogat Rasa Nishpattihi. What is Rasa? We already have a seed in us called the Sthai Bhava. He also mentions the Sthai Bhava, Rati, Hasa, Shoka, Ityadi. It's like a seed which is just silent, dormant, doing nothing. But when the Vibhava, Anubhava, Vyabhichari Bhavas come, when the right type of ambience or the right type of atmosphere is created, immediately the seed starts expressing itself in the form of rasa. The shoka sthai bhava becomes karuna rasa. The hasa sthai bhava becomes hasya rasa. The rati sthai bhava becomes shungara rasa. So we already have the seed embedded in us. It is inherent in us. Adu prakriti janya vadatu, svabhava janya vadatu. Adar sandarbha bandaga, vibhava, anubhava, vyabhichari, bhava gadu bandaga, takshna rasa nirpati agate, nishpati agate in tahiltare. So music is also like that. We already have the rasas, the feelings, the sentiments, the emotions within us. But when the music, the right type of music is played, uh, it could be a karuna rasa sangeeta. 
we relate some ragas like todi shubha pantuvarali chakravaka when you sing them in a very vilamba gati nidhava nidhanavagi aalavagi mandra sthayiyalli haadok shuru maadi mettage belaskon hodaga adu on bagiya karuna rasada bhava kodutte ant heltare but the same chakravaka the same todi when you sing in a faster tempo in a different style thara sthayiya ondu swaragana tegedukondu jaasti vilasa maadadaga it may give a different type of feel so there are so many possibilities in sangeeta and uh, we also have uh, uh, next one please we also have this uh, um, beautiful experiment done by our uh, artists vidushis vidwamsas and all types of musicians we see we have so many raga so many taala so many tempo so many meters andre chandasugalu vrittagalu choice of words samasagalu chikka samasa dodda samasa gunagalu mattu rhyme pada da lalithya pada da prasa anuprasa antya prasa yati yamaka hige sahitya mattu sangeetha da halavaru amshagalu so many beautiful aspects they have all been experimented with Uh, every musician experiments with them and not uh, of course we should never condemn uh, we should never uh, forget what is being done in the film world also because in the film world thumba idan experiment maadidare sakashtu they have taken the freedom eshto vidwamsaru okay eshto vidwamsaru idar bage yene helidru kuda thumba shastriya chaukatal irbeku anta vaada madidru kuda the film people have tried to explore the possibilities of every raga every raga's impact on the feelings please next uh, next next okay so hagagi nammalli gana rasa krutigalu navarasa krutigalu bhakti rasa krutigalu antella we have so many classifications that shows that music has its different types of effects when displayed in uh, when uh, when presented in different styles and daily one day one vishaya heli mugisibittini we don't have much time uh, music uh, can it be used as a therapy there are some basic questions that uh, can really music have its impact on the physiology on the cells of the body can it uh, uh, next slide and there have been some researches done and the oldest we find is a book called raga chikitsa unfortunately the book is missing it was there in saraswati mahal library in tanjavur dr bernal refers to that namge problem idiyala we don't preserve our books properly we have lost so many like that bahusha raga chikitsa ili music therapy has been discussed a lot adanna katkon hogidaro ad haalagidiyo enagidiyo gottagilla but later on eshto foreign researchers ee tara kelsa galanna maadidare they have worked with cancer patients try to um, uh, destabilize the cluster of cancer cells some people have worked with nervous patients some people have worked with uh, patients having insomnia for meditation and so many other cases next please so uh, i don't have much time but um, all this has really uh, bone fruits and many inferences have been drawn but uh, have all the inferences really been established truths next 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 ha huh. so uh, all this is very important uh, because un- unless we get empirical data we can never really establish a truth i think we have to work in those uh, lines because that is why i was telling you we need a scientist who is also a musician and also somebody who knows sanskritam well without a knowledge of sanskritam without a direct knowledge of bharatiya sanskriti i think we will really uh, fail to recognize the context properly so um, always an alien perspective will always be mischievous so not only knowing uh, music or uh, uh, science one should also know sanskritam the basic indian vidyas it's very good if he's a good uh, philosopher also and uh, the one more great supplement of pardon me ma'am two more minutes one more very important uh, contribution of music to the mental faculties is its contribution to memory namgella gotte ide kavana nenapige sulabha mankutimma ant heltare now shishugalagiddag when we were uh, children we used to learn twinkle twinkle little star nagara haave haavalu huve ityadi we never forget that we have forgotten all the prose there's a star in the sky it twinkles it is up in the sky and the prose ali vakyagalage namma teachers helid namu nenpe iradilla but yavadana padyavagi helidara nenpe ittkoltivi so kavana nenapige sulabha mankutimma anta dvg var helidhage vedagalu shastragalu mahabharata ramayana eshto shastra granthagalanna versify madidare andre padyikarisidare chandobaddhavada padhyagalalli sangeetha roopadalli geya prakaragalalli janapada geethegalalli namma itihasavanna namma gata vaibhavanna ellavannu da ne madirodrinda today we have them intact we have them intact many of them have come down to us 
even during the period when we never had any written history pre recorded history nu barvanage dakhali karana anodu shuruve aagde iddantaha saviraru sumaru 10000 varshagala hinde nadadaddu kuda ivattu namge talupide ivattu ade sahana avavathuna ade asato ma namma putani makkulu kuda mudumudagi heltare antandre alli iruvanta chandassu alli iruva padagalu alli iruva swara ವಿನ್ಯಾಸ ಎಲ್ಲವನ್ನು ಉಳಿಸ್ಕೊಂಡು ಬಂದಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದು ಸಂಗೀತ ತಾನೆ ಅದು ಒಂದು ಸಂಗೀತದ ಸ್ವರೂಪವೇ ಹೀಗಾಗಿ ಸಂಗೀತ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಸಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಟು ದ ಮ್ಯೂ ಟು ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಮೊರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸೊ ಶಾಲಿನಿ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಇದನ್ನು ನನಗೆ ಒಂದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಕಳಿಸಿದ್ರು ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೀನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂ ಬಟ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಆರ್ಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಪಂಡಿತ್ ಜಸ್ರಾಜ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ವ್ಯೂಸ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ದರ್ಬಾರಿ ರಾಗ ಅನ್ನೋದು ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ಲೆಸ್ನೆಸ್ಗೆ ನಿದ್ರಾಹೀನತೆ ಕಾಯಿಲೆಯನ್ನು ವಾಸಿ ಮಾಡಬಲ್ಲದು ಹಾಗೆ ನಟನಾರಾಯಣ ಅಂತನೋದು ಒತ್ತಡ ಡಿಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಇರೋರಿಗೆ ಮತ್ತು ಜೋಧ್ಪುರಿ ಅಂತನುವ ರಾಗವನ್ನು ಸರಿಯಾಗಿ ಹಾಡಿದಾಗ ತಲೆನೋವನ್ನು ನಿವಾರಿಸುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹಾಗೆ ನೀಲಾಂಬರಿ ರಾಗದಿಂದ ಇನ್ಸೋಮ್ಯ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ಲೆಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಹೋಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಬಿಲಹರಿ ಕೇದಾರ ಮುಂತಾದ ರಾಗಗಳಿಂದ ಒಂದು ಜೋಶು ಧೈರ್ಯ ಡಿಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಹೋಗಲಾಡಿಸುವಂಥ ಒಂದು ಕೆಲಸ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅಂತೆಲ್ಲ ಈ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಕ್ಲೇಮ್ಸ್ ಇವೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತಂಬೂರಿ ನಾದದಿಂದ ಎಷ್ಟು ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಆ ತಂಬೂರಿ ನಾದವೇ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಸಂತೋಷ ಕೊಡುತ್ತೆ ಒಂದು ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಮೂಡನ್ನು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಒಂದು ಕಡೆ ಸುಮ್ಮನೆ ತಂಬೂರಿ ಶುರು ಆದರೆ ಸಾಕು ಆ ಆ್ಯಂಬಿಯನ್ಸಲ್ಲೇ ಏನೋ ಒಂದು ದಿವ್ಯವಾದ ಭಾವ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಅದನ್ನು ಫಿಸಿಯಾಲಜಿಕಲಿ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಇಂಪ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಫಿಸಿಯಾಲಜಿ ಆನ್ ದ ಅನ್ಹೆಲ್ತಿ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಹೆಲ್ದಿ ಈ ಎಲ್ಲ ವಿಚಾರಗಳನ್ನು ಒಂದು ವೈಜ್ಞಾನಿಕ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಯಿಂದ ಚಿಕಿತ್ಸಾತ್ಮಕ ದೃಷ್ಟಿಯಿಂದ ಇನ್ನೂ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಸಂಶೋಧನೆ ಮಾಡೋ ಅಗತ್ಯ ಇದೆ ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಸದ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ಮಾಹಿತಿ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದ ಮಾತ್ರಕ್ಕೆ ಅದು ಇಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳುವಂಥ ಉದ್ಘಾಟನೆ ನಾವು ಮಾಡಬಾರ್ದು ದ ಹಾಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಟ್ರೂ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಟ್ರೂ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಟ್ರೂತ್ಫುಲ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಓಪನ್ ಟು ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಯಾವತ್ತೂ ಬಾಗ್ಲು ಹಾಕ್ಕೊಂಡು ಇನ್ನು ನಾನು ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಬುಕ್ಕಲ್ಲಿ ಓದಿದ್ದೆ ಫೈನಲ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳುವಂಥ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಯಾವ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರದಲ್ಲೂ ಜ್ಞಾನಿ ಅಲ್ಲ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ದಸ್ ಅ ಲಾಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಡನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಹೋಪ್ ಅವರ್ ಯಂಗ್ಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸೈಂಟಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಷಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಆನೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿನ್ಸಿಯರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಡಿಯನೈಸ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿಸರ್ಚ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈಟ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಡನ್ ವಿತ್ ಇಟ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ತುಂಬ ಧನ್ಯವಾದಗಳು ಐ ಆಮ್ ಸಾರಿ ಫಾರ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಟೈಮ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಟು ಸೇ ದಿಸ್ ಮಚ್ ಈ ಒಂದು ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಸೆಂಬ್ಲಿ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಪಂಡಿತ್ಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಟ್ರಂಥವರು ಇನ್ನು ಮಹಾತ್ಮರೆಲ್ಲ ಇದ್ದೀರಾ ವಿ ನಾಗರಾಜ್ ಅವರಂಥ ಹಿರಿಯರಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮತ್ತು ವನಿತಾ ರಾಮಸ್ವಾಮಿಯವರಂಥ ಹಿರಿಯ ವಿದುಷಿ ಹಲವಾರು ವಿದುಷಿಯರಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಪ್ರತಿಯೊಬ್ಬರು ಕೂಡ ನಾನು ಬಲ್ಲೆ ತುಂಬ ಅವರವರ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ದಿಗ್ಗಜರಾಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಿಮ್ಮೆಲ್ಲರ ಮುಂದೆ ನನ್ನ ಎರಡು ಬಾಲಿಶ ನುಡಿಗಳನ್ನು ಉಪಸ್ಥಾಪನೆ ಮಾಡುವ ಅವಕಾಶವನ್ನು ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್